Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. So if you are in Australia, more so than the rest of the world, you would know that we are currently in, Sydney, sorry, is currently in a very heavy lockdown. So I went onto my Instagram because I was getting a lot of requests to continue the weekly vlogs. Um, so here I am because you all voted for more weekly vlogs. You wanted me to continue weekly vlogs through lockdown. Um, and I was in two minds about this. Ugh, if you can hear the works upstairs, bear with. But that just makes lockdown even better because I'm stuck at home with construction upstairs. I was in two minds about filming a weekly vlog. Obviously, lockdown is quite boring. I'm not doing anything. I'm stuck at home. But then I was like, well, it would make me think of things to do in order to entertain you guys, therefore entertaining me. So <clears throat> that's a positive. But also lockdown is very emotional. Uh, very emotional and taxing on your emotional stability. So, um, I don't know. I just was very worried about being transparent with how I'm feeling and coping. Um, there's a lot of, I almost feel like not much sympathy for Sydney because a lot of places have done it tougher or had to do lockdown sooner sort of thing. Like, I'm getting a lot of lip from people in Melbourne saying like do it for seven months and then then you'll know how we feel and I'm like I just don't agree with that and I think if anyone's saying that they're an awful fucking person because they know what we're going through they shouldn't want us going through this so I just think it's quite an evil cynical mentality so I don't really want to show my struggles because I'm being told to get over it a lot and that is the last thing anyone in lockdown needs to hear. But I'm going to do it because you guys want to see it. And I think it would be good to document the process. And then you guys wouldn't feel as alone seeing the highs and the lows. And I could maybe give you ideas of things to do through lockdown. And this will also be like a 20 minute video every week for you guys to escape and watch and enjoy. And, you know, all that good stuff. So... At the moment, I've signed up to the Pilates class. It's Jackie Kingswell because it's something I can do from home. And Jackie is a wonderful, wonderful woman. I've met her, follow her on Instagram. I think she's just truly magical. So she has so much to see and choose from on this class. I had no idea. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I signed up for the free trial to see how I like it. But I think I will continue it. Um, she has so much on this little portal I was like holy shit there's like kick classes stretching before bed there's pilates for digestion like she's got freaking everything on there so I'm going to do the <clears throat> 36 minute hit those goals and sweat in brackets intense I'm day two period so I'm gonna see how I go I would also like to maybe go for a little run after this but probably not we might just stick to the hit class today so that's what I'm gonna do That was such a good sweat class. Oh my gosh. And then I finished it with a 10 minute oblique like ab burner. I'm going to call my mum and eat breakfast. Um, she's just worried about me. So I haven't seen the new numbers today. They're predicted to be really bad. So um, I'm going to call mum and then probably <laughs> look at the numbers with her. Maybe cry. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm probably going to do some like breath work. Then I have to shoot. I have to film. Um, some Amazon stuff today, so it's not ideal to be upset if things don't go great, but uh, yeah, that's the joys of <laughs> filming yourself for a living. Uh, sometimes you just have to suck it up. Uh, so hopefully it's not too triggering, but I'm a little anxious. 
if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have breakfast. I just tested out a new mascara. Can you please close? I just tested out a new mascara that I, from a brand that I may be working with, I just needed to try the mascara to see what I think. And it's freaking amazing. Um, yeah, it's 100% a, a dupe for my Marc Jacobs mascara. And this brand is Drugstore. I'm so excited. It's the first time I've tried it, so I need to play with it a little bit more, but um, I'm so excited. And it's, yeah, it's looking really, really good. Oh, I love when this happens, because that you, I think I've told you guys this before, like if it's ever a product or anything like that, like I need to use it for a while, like if it's supplement, protein powder, I, um, yeah, if it's a product that needs to take some time to see results, then I'll use it for longer. But things like a mascara, I only need a couple of tries with it to see what I think. And I am obsessed. Um, so yeah, you guys will hear about this soon, I'm sure. But I'm just making breakfast. So I'm back on like my chocolate. Like they're basically like milkshakes. This is delicious. So I've got almond milk in there. It's probably a lot. Probably didn't need to put that much in. Oh, no, that's not too bad. Um, and then, okay, so it's like an immunity boosting, cancer fighting, free radicals fighting smoothie. And I bloody love it. So I've switched up my protein powder. I'm using the Bondi Protein Co. chocolate protein powder. Um, I'm friends with Christian, the owner. He got me onto it, obviously. He was disgusted that I was using anything other than Bondo Protein. So, two scoops of that in there. And I don't know what he's done to make this, but oh my god, it is honestly one of the best, probably the best chocolate protein powder I've ever tasted. Um, and even his banana flavour is amazing. I was using that for a little while. I um, haven't tried the vanilla yet, but I'm assuming it would be good if that one's good. Then I add an extra little bit of raw cacao because raw cacao is full of antioxidants. So good for you. Plus it just gives it that little bit more of a rich chocolatey taste that makes it a little bit more chocolate milk shaky. You know? um, then I add in cannon powder from Traprika because it has 50 times more vitamin C per gram than oranges. So super good for your immunity. So I put in about half a teaspoon of that. I put in some turmeric, crack of salt, because chocolate and salt are a match made in heaven. And then my spinach is turning to shite, but I'll put a big, I mean like a big handful of spinach in. Because you don't taste it. All these crackheads out there saying you can taste spinach in smoothies. No, you fucking can't. Taking my vitamins. Hello. Hi, Mama. How'd your training, training go? Yeah, good. I just did like a hip Pilates class at home. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, good. How are you going mm. anyway? And well, just given your history of pregnancies and miscarriages and Stacey's cysts, like, I just don't know what my odds are of getting pregnant. So I just like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't even know if I want kids, but I would like to have the option. And I'm still single at 26, which I never thought I would be. And so I just don't want to have my, like, body clock putting any kind of pressure on me. So at least if I know, like, I've got my eggs. I get what page you're coming for, like you're on, mm. I get it. I totally understand it. And you know, you're gonna end up with um, a little blonde haired, curly little shit of a kid, <laughs> which was every one of you guys. Excuse everyone you, I was a blonde, I was a hair. dream. Give me peace of mind. And like the other thing I've been thinking about, I don't want my like, not like desperation, but like. If I get to a certain age and I'm like, fuck, I'm still single, like, I need to settle down, like, I don't want to feel like I'm settling because I have to, so at least I've got my op options open, and one day I know that I can just, like, I can have a baby on my own if I want to, like, I don't actually need um, a man for that. Yeah, 
And don't forget the idea of um, surrogate. Yeah, and that, that's what I mean. At least if my eggs are there, I can put my baby in someone else and like, Hi guys, so I've just gotten back from doing a little bit of filming outside with Beck. So Beck is my new assistant. I hired her last week, which is really exciting. Work has just been absolute chaos. So it's nice to have help. So she helped me get a little bit of filming done. We also went for a walk. Um, and now I'm meeting Noni for a walk because I haven't seen her in a little while. Yeah, then I'll make dinner. And that is pretty much my day. Actually, now I have editing to do. I have stories that need to go live. So I still have quite a bit of work to do, but I'm just making sure I get my human interaction and then I will do some work tonight. workout first but then I'm going to go do a stairs workout I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm probably just gonna run the stairs ten times and then go for a walk so I don't really know what kind of workout I'm gonna do I'm hoping that the so it's the grandstand area where like the commentators would sit under cover um, this is more so an option for if and when it's raining obviously it's a beautiful clear day today but there's also stairs there so it's a really good like hit workout but i think i'll just like run a few laps of the stairs i might do a couple of laps of the oval elevated push-ups obviously because there's the stairs some lunges like jumping jump squats up the stairs i don't know there's just lots to choose from but we'll see. We'll see how my motivation feels when I get there. And I just hope there's not lots of people there because I'll be intimidated. And obviously the other response to I hope there's not a lot of people there is because I don't want to be around a lot of people. COVID. So fingers crossed. I mean, it's early. It's 8 o'clock. So I don't think there will be. Okay. From what I could see from the street driving up, there wasn't many people, if any. I don't really know how to get here though. But there's people out training everywhere, which is really good to see. We love to see that. I have no fucking idea where I am. There's doggos everywhere. There's some guy filming some motivational speech. <laughs> good of him. We all need that right now. Yeah, this is the oval. I think it's called Waverly Oval. Let's pray that there's no one here. I mean, we're going on a bit of adventure together, guys. How's this? I know that I'm lost, but I'm not moving on something between us. I'm all fuck it. I want you to know that with you I feel home. 216 active cows. It's not bad, not that I really care about cows, but like, it's decent. That's good. Might do a little bit of like core, just to really tie it over. A bit of core, a bit of bootay. Um, I've just gotten to Bondi. I was in Bondi before, but I've just gotten to the other side of Bondi and I'm gonna grab a coffee from Depot and then I'm gonna go for a little walk while my body's warm and then I have lots of editing to do and then I'll probably go for another afternoon walk. The fact that you still have to pay for parking during lockdown is bullshit. I'm home. I'm just having breakfast. You guessed it, protein smoothie and 
Vegemite toast. And I'm watching Alana Davidson. edited everything that I need to, I'm pretty sure. So I'm having a little break and a snack plate. I have pink lady apple, Havarti cheese, slithered almonds and pistachios and carrot. And I'm gonna start this book. And it's a gorgeous day. And then I've just messaged Will, one of my friends, to try and look in an Arvo walk. So yeah. That's right. Yeah, I forgot to show you what I had for dinner. I just marinated chicken breast in my Nando's marinade that I get from Coles. And then I just cooked some rice and then steamed greens. And I mixed in spinach with the chicken as well. And then for dessert, I had some IKEA chocolate. And now I'm having the macro hot donut. So I've got red velvet, is the pink one, and then chocolate one. I'm eating that. Because I'm so hungry! Good morning! I'm just in Bondi, about to meet my friend Jesse. We're gonna go run stairs again. Uh, yeah, it's 6.47 a.m. Green smoothie. And a quick little walk. <laughs> Alright, I'm back home um, and now I've just made, I guess this is kind of like lunch. I'll probably have a protein shake as well, just like literally protein and water and milk. Um, but I'm having a cheese and onion toasty. I love onion. Onion is one of my favourite flavours. Mm. So just cheese and onion on fresh white bread. I'm probably going to eat this little chode carrot. I'm going to turn into a carrot. I'm eating so many, but they're really tasty at the moment. They're like really sweet and fresh, especially when they're room temperature. They're really nice. And I'm just watching a little bit of YouTube. But pussy, non-confrontational piece of shit. Winnie son! I have been, gosh, what have I been doing? Oh, I've been getting work done. Um, I've been going back and forth with my manager for like an hour and a half. Just very, very busy week. So just like scheduling everything out. I have also just been doing a little bit of tidying. Um, I've also wasted a bit of time on social media. I've just been sorting things out, planning my days ahead and checking in on friends. I've been sitting like I've been texting a few people just like checking in trying to connect over the phone um and now I'm about to jump in the shower do a really good exfoliation all over my body shave my legs because I want to self tan because I have filming to do tomorrow morning so I just want to be cute and tanned for that you know and I have um content to shoot so gotta do that and then when I get out I am doing a JS Health Q&A Good morning guys, happy Thursday. As you saw I was in bed getting some work done and then I just had to post some stories for Woohoo. Now I'm eating a banana because I need to do a quick little bit of makeup and then shoot a lounge photo and then by that point it'll be about the time that I need to leave for PT. So I actually need to get a wig on because I'm cutting it fine. So this is my random lunch. Um, I have a Vegemite sandwich because I'm starving. 
And I wanted something quick. Um, cucumber, carrot, and cheese. Very random, I know, but you know. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do with what you got in the house. And I'm watching Friends. And I've just gotten home from training with Ray. We went for a swim. Hi guys, um, I'm about to cook dinner. My apartment is a mess from filming and editing today. And I'm doing a little LED mask. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna have marinated chicken with steamed greens and rice. Very easy, quick dinner. Looks good. We got rice, broccoli, chicken. Delish. Oh my god, these macro heart donuts are literally the best. This is the Nutella flavored one. It's it's an exclusive flavor. Oh, heat them up for like 10, 15 seconds. So fucking good. Okay. I was still hungry, so I made it toasty. Shit, I need to blow dry my hair. I need to dry it straight. Um, yeah, I made another cheese and onion toasty. Delicious. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I had a bit of a sleep in this morning. I've just made breakfast. Hang on, let me set you guys up. I've just made breakfast, um, just Vegemite toast and a chocolate smoothie. Um, I'm, I'm frustrated this morning. Like, I'm actually getting people telling me I'm a part of the problem because I'm seeing friends outside of the house. So like anytime I put on my story that I'm with a friend at the beach or like going for a swim after a, a walk or a run or whatever, I'm having people saying like, I should be staying home. You're not meant to socialize with people outside of the household. And it's like, I live alone. First of all, it's New South Wales guidelines. Like I'm not breaking any rules. I'm following the guidelines perfectly. I'm doing everything right. But people actually have in their mind that like I should just be staying home, seeing absolutely no one. And like they're making me feel so awful about it. And it's I think it's just because I'm in a state of like vulnerability, like I'm fragile. It's a really hard time that it's really affecting me because I can't handle people telling me I'm a bad person when I'm not. And I know that I'm not. And it just, it's alarming. Like some people's logic, like I've just said, like, do you expect me to just stay at home on my own and see no one and speak to no, like, I'm just, I'm sick of it. Like every single day I have different people telling me what I'm doing wrong and like, telling me to they're like I know it's um I know it's not the rules but like use common sense okay so use common sense stay home alone that will lead me to kill myself if I'm being completely honest and really blunt like is that common sense like is that what these people want from me we are all on the same team and I and like I'm so scared about this and I don't even know if I will add this into the vlog because there's always the one fucking person that says there's always someone worse off you're not even doing it tough like I get that but you have no idea how people handle different situations this is a plea to all of you to be patient with everyone be patient with your friends with your family with strangers in the supermarket with people you follow online like just give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Everyone is doing, most people are doing the best they can. And if you see people blatantly breaking the law, going against lockdown rules, by all means. But honestly, if I'm posting something on my story, obviously it's not against the rules. Like, I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the best I can. Please, just... Trust that and if you honestly believe that I'm a bad person and I would be doing things That I'm not supposed to be why would you follow me? I would hope that my followers trust me That I'm a good person because I am And but like I, I want this lockdown over I'm not going to do anything to put anyone in jeopardy or risk extending the lockdown. So please just 
be kind. Stop calling me a bad person. Hi guys, happy Saturday. So after my little uh, breakdown yesterday, I decided to not vlog for the rest of the day. I just wasn't feeling great. But here we are, it's Saturday, it's a new day. I got a bacon and egg roll from Speedos with some hash browns. I got a Nutella cronut. Delish. Yummy. And then I got a green juice, which was also really good. But I put it in a glass because it was spilling everywhere. And I'm gonna watch Friends and just live my best life. Me? I didn't see you there. Hi, Budden. What are you doing? Love you. Hi, guys. Happy Sunday. Um, what have I done today? I woke up, potted around the house a little bit, got a little bit of work done, like a little bit of housework done, and then I um, ran into my neighbours downstairs in the garage chatted to them for like 15 minutes and then I went for a walk a big walk let's see what I did actually it was quite a decent walk too 10.2 kilometers 13,000 steps I walked to Bondi but it was an absolute cesspool there's so many people there and so many people sitting down and remaining mobile which I'm not fully understanding it's really frustrating me because that's what will get the beaches closed People need to remember to just keep walking, um, go for the swim, get out sort of thing. Like, So it was very busy there. I walked there and I was like, fuck this, got a coffee and walked back. And then I just did like um, a big lap of Rose Bay, basically. And then I did a couple of loads of washing. I haven't really done anything to be honest. I rang my mum, spoke to her. She's doing well. Um, I miss my mum a lot all the way over in Perth um yeah I miss my family a lot that's the hardest thing about this lockdown is how much I miss my family which is pretty common amongst everyone in lockdown then I yeah that's about it that's I don't really know where the day went today to be honest I did have a pretty late start though like I didn't get out of bed until like 10 to 11 so that makes sense. Um, oh, I did my plants as well, watered them and fed them. Um, and then I had Domino's for dinner. I had a barbecue chicken pizza and it was delicious. Now I'm going to take my vitamins because I haven't done that today yet. I'm not going to take the hair and energy because I don't want energy right now. So that will just have to wait until tomorrow. So I'm taking my skin and digestion, detox and de bloat my fish oil, these are all JS Health, and then my Metamucil probiotic. Gonna eat some Smarties. I'm watching um, Tower Heist at the moment. It's got like, it's got Eddie Murphy, Ben Stiller, Casey, Casey Affleck. It's like a really good lineup and it's action and adventure and comedy. And it says, when a group of workers at a ritzy Manhattan condo realized their boss has swindled them out of their pensions, they vow to reap their own justice. It's like a very funny. I've quite I've laughed quite a few times at it. It's good. I like it. So I would recommend it. Interesting. I also haven't edited any of this vlog yet. It's Sunday night. Normally I've edited at least half of it. So tomorrow will be pretty busy. <laughs> like Mondays are already pretty intense. But if I leave a whole vlog to edit, <laughs> on top of it, Jesus Christ! I don't come up for air all day. So I have no idea how long this is it, how long this is, if it's any good. Yeah, this could be boring as shit. I mean, it's a lockdown vlog. You guys can't have too high expectations for what this entails. I'm gonna keep watching this. I'm gonna put sheets on my bed. I'm gonna do some washing. So I'm putting sheets on my bed. I don't know why my eyes, actually I do know why. I've still got contacts in. I need to take my contacts out. That's why my eyes are so blood drop. I'm putting sheets on my bed. <laughs> And I will probably regret this because you guys know I love my neutrals. I love my white linen sheets. 
um, and like my white flannelette sheets. But I've also got my baby pink flannelette sheets. Love those, but generally I pair it obviously with white linen or white quilt covers, duna covers, etc. etc. Well, I bought a yellow linen duna cover set, quilt cover from IKEA. And I would love Honey! Stop it! I would love <laughs> to put them on together because you know how all these beautiful Swedish girls are uh, honey stop it are putting all these wonderful colors on their beds and it's just looking like a magical wonderland of color and fucking peacefulness I would like to recreate that I have a feeling it's gonna look like a tacky chuppa chup like the strawberries and cream chopper chop. That's what I feel like it's going to look like. But you know what? We're going to try. I will most likely regret this. But hopefully I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm hoping that's the ending of this story. I'm doubtful though. Very doubtful. We'll see though. The sheets are more like a mustard colour. I think that's my undoing. But I googled like pink and yellow sheets. And it looked lovely. <laughs> And the the sheets were pink and the duna cover was yellow. So it was all like the same. So anyway, I'm just going to stop fucking talking about it. I'm going to put it on and we'll see what it looks like. Quickly go comment down below right now. Do you think it's going to look good or bad? Ready? Go. And then see if you're right. <laughs> other, other, other we ran out of space there for a hot minute, but we're back. Okay. On with the bed. Saga, we continue. was a little bit less mustardy and a little more pastel like it's cute it doesn't look bad like it is it's fine well let's just say i'm not fucking changing it tonight because it's 9 30 9 30 wow yes yeah, 9 30 i need to go to bed on that note i'm going to bed I'm ending this weekly vlog here, this lockdown stay at home with me weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed. It was probably extremely repetitive, but to be honest, probably not that different to my day-to-day -day life besides the lack of socialization and human interaction. Anyway, good night. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for pushing me to weekly vlog because I definitely wouldn't have. Um, so thank you for pushing me to do it. I do appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.